Oh, I just started recording. I'm not even ready. My cat's taking a shit on the lawn. <laughs> okay, well, turns out she wasn't taking a shit. Whoopsies. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is going to be a makeup challenge. I haven't done a makeup challenge in a very, very, very long time. But this was kind of a trend like a month or so ago. So again, like if you're new here, welcome. I don't stay on trends. I just do my own thing. <laughs> so I never really do trends that are happening at the moment. I do them like after. Today I'm going to be doing, obviously by the time now and Tidy Girls are in the game. What the fudge was that? <laughs> Obviously by the thumbnail the title you guys already know, today's going to be the Generating Numbers Makeup Challenge. What do people call it? Random Numbers Pick My Makeup Challenge. Now, I don't know who created this. Shout out to whoever created this. I'm not sure who. But basically, you pick a palette. I'm going to be using this bad boy today. And this is a 24 shade palette. So basically, I'm going to use the generator on the internet of picking a number from 1 to 24. My phone chooses what numbers to use and what colors to use, if that makes sense. So here would be 1 and here would be 24. So like if I picked, I don't know, five, I'd be one, two, three, four, five, and then I'd have to use that in today's look. I'm really scared. <laughs> I think I'm going to do about like five eyeshadow, like five numbers, five eyeshadow looks, not looks, colors, that's the word. I'm going to choose five eyeshadow colors, and hopefully this goes well. I already have my base and eyebrows on. I'm genuinely really scared, but I feel like I chose Jawbreaker because one, I haven't used it in forever, and second of all, I feel like it has some colors that can go well together. So it's one to six, and then I'm going to start seven here here. So it's going to end here. I'm not going to go the opposite direction. If you don't know how this turns out for me, keep on watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video because it's very, very different. But let's hope the luck is in my favor today and we get some good numbers. So if you want to know what happens, just keep on watching. Number generator. I can't spell. Okay, well, I don't want dice. Minimum is one and the max is 24. Let's do it. I'm really, really scared. You're seeing it on the screen right now, so let's generate from 1 to 24. 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. Get right! <laughs> first color is cotton candy which is this shimmery pink it didn't really want shimmers but what can you do okay so i'm gonna do five and if i need to do another one i'll do another one so the second color let's generate is five. One, two, three, four, five, which is the orange okay um third color generate is 13. With another shimmer i've only got one matte so far okay so this is the fourth color now 16. 16 is the bold ass blue whoa this is not gonna look good and i had to film a video after this so i'm really hoping i do something semi-decent okay so i'm gonna pick one more color one more generated number and let's do it one <laughs> one is the bright ass white that's good so basically the colors we have cotton candy which is a shimmery pink we also have suck which is a bright ass orange we also have and what which is a kind of red clummy shimmery shade we have soaked which is the bright ass blue and then finally we have virgin which is the white now again if i do need more colors like my lower lash line or whatever or during this look i will go back and generate it i won't cheat or anything but they're the five colors we're going to use so far i'm not excited for this whatsoever the white blue and orange will go good together i just don't know where to use the shimmers <sighs> this is the scary part i guess we should start <laughs> I don't know what to do. I really don't. So I'm going to have like no idea in my head. So it turns out bad. It turns out bad. Like did any of these look good? Actually, probably half of the people that did this probably did it really good. Okay. So I have my phone here. I'm actually looking at the photos I just took. I'm seeing what I should do first. I obviously have to do mattes in the crease. I have to. Like, you know what I mean? So I'm thinking to do blue in the crease. Because it's just the brightest color there is. <laughs> Which is soaked. And I'm going to grab that on a Morphe Jack and Hill brush. The JH36. Mm, okay. That's bright as shit. I'm going to zoom in a bit, actually. Okay, hopefully that's close enough. <laughs> anyway, so let's put this. I'm so scared. This is a very bright blue. I just don't know where to put the orange. That's going to be real fun to figure out. I'm thinking of putting this in the crease and then doing a cut crease. Putting the orange and doing something. I don't know. Because I feel like I can blend the pink and, like, the maroon shimmery shade together. 
together. I feel like that'd be really cute. But it's just the orange that's kind of messing me up. I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. I'm not using a base, which I really should have done that. I always keep forgetting to use bases. See, now I don't know if it's part of the rules or whatever. If I can use the same color twice. Like if I want to use a brow, a brow bone highlight, can I use that for the white? And then use white in my inner corner? Am I allowed to do that? I don't know. Okay, so, so far it's looking okay. It's just a blue eyeshadow. <laughs> look, it's not going to look the best at the moment because it's just blue. I want to add some white just to blend it out. But I will use the white again. So this is not like cheating or anything. I am going to use the white again. I'm going to grab a Morphe 456 brush. What was that? Brush and grab Virgin, which is the white. And basically just blend the top of this. That so doesn't look as harsh because I don't like that, you know? So far I have a blob of my eye. It doesn't look the best, but I'm going to quickly do the other eye. I'm like, while doing this, I'm trying to think of what the fudge to do. Like, I really don't know what to do. Maybe I'll put the orange on my lower lash line. Ooh! I think I figured out a look. <laughs> I think. Let's hope it works out. This blue is actually really pretty though. I did do a review on this palette. So if you do want to see that, I'll leave a link down below or in the eye card. But this isn't meant to be a review. It's meant to be for fun because this is a challenge after all. This is actually kind of scary. But I feel like this is going to make me be more creative. But we'll, we'll see. Okay, so now I have the main color down. I think I'm not going to use this color again. Just because it's so out there. <laughs> so the only color, the only other matte colors besides the white and the blue is the orange. But I think I might put that on my lower lash line. So I'm thinking to cut my crease, do a half cut crease type of thing, and do the pink and then the darker shimmery shade. I don't know what else to do. We gotta do what we gotta do. I'm gonna grab the P. Louise base. This is the white one. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand. And then we're gonna cut it. Okay, so I'm gonna do this eye first. I'm just gonna grab that on a Morphe. What brush is this? 224. And just cut out the crease like I usually would. Oh my god, if this was white, like just plain white eyeshadow, it would look so good. But I have to use those shimmery shades. <sighs> I'm not going to like this. So I'm going to set this and then do the other eye as well. So I'm going to use the pink shade first, which is cotton candy. This is going to stuff up the look. I can tell you that right now. Actually, hold up. How about if I do the dark shade first and then put the pink on top? Is that cheating? I'm going to use and what first. I haven't actually used this, so I'm excited to actually test it out. That looks beautiful already. I'm going to set the entire part that I just cut out. That's a stunning color. Holy shit. It looks like I'm bloody doing makeup for the 4th of July. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of the blue again. Just to kind of blend those colours together. This is not going to turn out good. But I'm, I'm actually kind of excited to see how it does turn out. Because I would never do this. Like this colour combo I probably would never do in my life. I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. Again with the P. Louise base and everything like that. But these cut creases are really different. So ignore that. <laughs> That looks not the same. Now I'm going to grab the And What shade again and cover this eye like this one. Must have this is a beautiful shade, but I probably would never wear them together. That's just my thing. I don't really think these colors go together on me. Like I just don't think it really suits me and my eye shape and stuff like that. It doesn't look too bad, like it could be actually worse. But I think about the positives, guys. I think it's going good. This is what is happening so far. I've used two shades out of the five. Oh no, I've used three shades out of the five. But I'm going to use a bit of the white later on. I think I'm going to use the white in the inner corner as well. But it's not going to really be much pigmentation. So I might like set a cream base and then put that on top. Now I have the bright pink and the orange. So I don't know if I should do the orange on my inner corner or the lower lash line. I think I might do the lower lash line because it's a lot easier. I just don't know where to put this pink. I'm going to probably put it on top of what I just did um, like right in the center and then hope for the best so that's really all I'm gonna say right now I'm just gonna set this on top I am using the color like you can actually tell I don't know if you can actually tell probably not actually those two colors together make a gorgeous combo I'm not gonna lie it's actually really beautiful so I've used all colors except the orange now I'm gonna use the orange on the lower lash line and then probably do my lashes and stuff off camera and then do the inner corner with you guys so I'm gonna do the orange first I think now for the lower lash one the fun stuff happens now i'm gonna grab suck which is the orange i think i did use this in my video and it's not like really 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 orange so i'm kind of looking forward to it it's kind of more red so it might look good with this color combo i don't know oh god okay honestly it's not that bad <laughs> 
think it could be seriously worse. I like, think it really could. But I think when I originally got these numbers and like saw the colors, I'm just like, oh shit, I'm screwed. But I think it's okay. That's not too bad. I'm not going to lie. It's not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to do my lashes and stuff off camera really quick. And we'll come back and do the inner corner. And maybe I'll pick five lip shades and pick a number. And we'll pick a lipstick too. I think that might be fun as well. I'm going to do my lashes off camera. All the products I will be using will be down below anyways. But I'm going to put some lashes on and be right back. I'll be there, yeah, yeah, I'll be there for you. I'll be there, yeah, yeah, I'll be there for you. I'll be there in the darkness. I'll be there. Hey guys, so I'm now back. You're still zoomed in, but I'm not finished the eyes yet, so I'm gonna keep you zoomed in until I'm done. But I've just put my lashes on. There's a bit of mascara here. I'm waiting for it to dry, so just ignore that. But all I did was mascara, which is a tart mascara, and then put on my lashes, which is the Iconics. I always use these by sets of lashes. So now to use another color, which I've already used, which is the white. By looking at this, you wouldn't see that I've used the white. I'm gonna put it in my inner corner, but I don't think the white is gonna pick up as much. So I'm gonna use a base, which is the ColourPop eyeliner. And this one is called Exit. I'm just going to put that in my inner corner as a base for the eyeshadow. But I'm just going to use a small dense brush and grab Virgin again, which is a colour that the generator did pick for us. I'm just going to sit that on the cream, which didn't do much. Mm. It'd be better if it was a shimmer, but it is there. I don't know if you can tell, but this is the eye look that the Google Converter did for me. So there's three eyeshadows on my actual lid, or technically four. <laughs> um, one's on my lower lash line and also one's in my inner corner but that is the look i think it's okay i actually just picked four lipsticks this one scares me oh no five lipsticks and i'm gonna obviously do a generation of minimum one maximum five i can't speak and then we can actually pick the lipstick so i have red rum from jeffree style is all jeffree style obviously i have my classic christmas cookie i also have mermaid blood i also have misogynist but i haven't worn in forever and last but not least i also have weirdo this scares me that i'm gonna get this color i'm now gonna just put them in any order like lining them up Number one is Mermaid Blood. Number two is Misogynist. Number three is Christmas Cookie. Four is Red Blood. Red Blood? Red Rum. <laughs> number five is Weirdo. Okay, so Max is now five, not 24. I'm really scared. Okay, generate. Three. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Three is Christmas cookie. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Google. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was going to have a heart attack. Okay, so my lipstick today is going to be Christmas cookie by Jeffree Star, which is what I originally wanted to do. I'm grateful I got this color. Oh, I actually love this look. I don't think I'd probably ever mix these colors together if I was just doing it like on a whim. So guys, that is the end of this really fun makeup challenge. It feels weird saying that because I haven't done a challenge in forever, <laughs> but I actually really like this look and i'm really happy because i have to film another video after this so i'm actually really excited to film that so i don't have to redo my makeup because <laughs> i thought it was gonna be really bad but this is basically the end result of a number generator choosing my eyeshadow which is crazy to say <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really fun to do if you do have any more challenges makeup related or not do you think i should do let me know in the comments down below i just hit myself in the face which is not fun all the products i used even if i didn't mention them will be down below like always i did do a review on this like i said during this video so if you do want to see this i will leave it down below i did a whole review on the whole collection not just this if you want to see that i'll leave it down below if you're new here please subscribe because i make two videos with you guys every monday and thursday i don't know when i'm uploading this because i have a lot of videos to pre-film so you've probably seen this like in september i'm filming this in august right now so hopefully you guys still enjoy it <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy it. if you did give it a thumbs up for me if you are new here again please subscribe click the notification bell to be notified every time i post a new video all my social media links are down below in the description box like always remember to spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone <laughs>